Robert, we've been focused so much about focus so much on a vaccine when really it's it's several months out. Uh, but researchers are really excited about antibody treatments. What's the latest in terms of progress there? Uh, yeah, so everyone does want a vaccine. We think that's the ultimate solution, but you just just can't test vaccines inst instantaneously because they're be being given to lots of healthy people. So, you know, what do we do in the meantime until we get a vaccine? And that's why a lot of the biggest drug companies are uh, working on uh, so-called monoclonal antibodies. These would be exquisitely targeted treatments that would aim to neutralize the virus. And uh, and some of the companies working on that are Regeneron Pharmaceuticals and Eli Lilly and AstraZeneca. Uh, and these drugs could go uh, into human trials uh, as soon as uh, this summer and pot potentially even in June. Uh, the Regeneron pharmaceutical antibody treatment could go into trials in June. And it's viewed by uh, some of the smartest minds. Uh, antibodies are viewed as one of the kind of the most uh, promising, most likely to work, you know, targeted treatments for coronavirus. And people like, you know, Scott Gottlieb, the former head of the FDA, said, of, hey, if you had to bet on like one treatment working in the shorter time term, he's bet on these antibodies. So are we learning more about, in, in, you know, in terms of this antibody research, about why some people don't get sick at all, some people get extremely ill, and some people actually die from this disease? Yeah, I mean, I would say that that is, you know, one of the kind of the biggest mysteries that we just don't have a lot of uh, data on that yet. And like researchers, I would say, I would say around the world are, you know, trying to puzzle out that mystery. I mean, that basically the truth is this is a very new virus that, uh, you know, the world hadn't heard of before three or four months ago. And so everything about it is new. And that certainly is one of the biggest puzzles. Why do some people, and this, this often happens, you know, in the second week of infection, kind of suddenly take a turn for the worse. And like, what's the difference there? Why does that happen? Uh, because clearly, clearly that's one of the most important things that's going on. And we just don't have the answer to that yet.